Hi, I'm Mark Sloboda, and this is The Real Politique. The United Kingdom, long the yapping attack dog and stalking horse of the U.S. geopolitically, even occasionally inverting the role and uh, wagging the dog itself, has now gone far beyond the bounds of proxy war on Russia and Ukraine, and is now evidently de facto waging war on Russia. Early in the morning on Saturday, the 29th of October, the West Bank Kiev regime launched a massive air and naval drone attack on the Black Sea Fleet at the Russian naval base in Sevastopol, Crimea. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the drone assault, the largest of its kind by Kiev in the conflict, involved nine aerial and seven naval suicide drones. All were shot down by air defense or sunk in maritime actions by Russian warships and naval aviation in the Bay of Sevastopol. According to the Ministry of Defense statement, the attack was unsuccessful and resulted only in minor damage to the minesweeper Ivan Gulabits and to the net boom barrier in the bay. Kiev regime surrogates, meanwhile, insisted online that multiple Russian warships were sunk, but also said they know nothing about it, and the Kiev regime had nothing to do with it. Let me guess. The Russians attacked themselves again, right? The Russian Ministry of Defense announced, however, the real puppet masters directing this attack. The preparation of this terrorist attack and training of the military personnel of the Ukrainian 73rd Special Center for Maritime Operations had been carried out under the supervision of British military experts based in the city of Achakov in Ukraine's Nikolaev region. The UK had, months earlier, openly provided naval drones to the Kiev regime and was training Ukrainian forces in their use. In the Russian public, this immediately evoked historical memories of the British Empire's siege of Sevastopol, an invasion of Crimea, alongside other Western imperial powers and the Ottoman Empire in the Crimean War in the 1850s. Reportedly, a U.S. Global Hawk surveillance drone was also circling above the Black Sea during the operation. As the Russian ships that were targeted in the attack were involved in the maritime operations securing safe passage for the Ukrainian Grain Corridor, established in a Turkish and UN-brokered international agreement, Russia immediately suspended their participation in the deal, effectively ending it. But the Russian Ministry of Defense went further and revealed that it has intelligence that representatives of the same unit of the British Navy took part in the planning, provision, and implementation of the terrorist attack in the Baltic Sea on September 26 that blew up the Nord Stream 1 and 2 gas pipelines. The British government immediately, of course, denied involvement in what they characterized as an invented story, unconvincing even to their own media, who seemed pretty chuffed about it, actually. It was not immediately clear how Russia will respond to these escalations and aggressions by the British Empire. <laughs> I mean the United Kingdom. But it should not be doubted that they will respond to this modern-day charge of the light brigade.